Wi-Fi and the smartphone is ending, and with the 4.7-INCH screen, it's clearly had to admit defeat in the smaller screen market. There will be some that will miss this screen size, maintaining that they don't want a bigger display on their phone, but nearly all of those people won't have spent any appreciable time with a larger device. And I believe that a good portion of you thinking you need a smaller phone will quickly come to appreciate the power a bigger handset brings without hurting quality. But while the iPhone 6 has answered a lot of the problems I've had with previous iterations of Apple's handsets, there are still some issues that still swirled when I handled the phone for the first time. Why has Apple decided to not join the masses with a really high reach screen? Why is the iPhone still the most expensive on the market? Has it done enough to improve the quite dire battery life of previous models? Especially at a time when many high-end Android phones are easily chugging through a day's hard use without thirsting for a charger's caress? Let's take a quick look at the price, and it's not pretty. In the UK, you're looking at £539 for the 16GB version, £619 for the 64GB option, and £699 for the 128GB model. On a season contract, these start at around £45 per month, with roughly £100 for the phone up front. Although you can shop around and get it for slightly less if you stray from the main network, that's a lot more than the competition, with most high-end contracts topping out at £38 for the main rivals with less up front too. In the US, the Apple iPhone 6 16GB is $199 on contract, 64GB comes in at $299 and the 128GB at $399. If you're planning to go off book, then it's 16 gigabytes at $649. 64 gigabytes available for $749 and a whopping $849 for the 128 gigabytes model. In Australia, the iPhone 6 outright pricing starts at $869 for 16 gigabytes then jumps to $999 for 64 gigabytes and $1,129 for the 128 gigabytes version. If you prefer to pay off your phone over time, Optus is offering the 16 gigabytes for $0 a 